Hello students, welcome to Adhan classes. In this video we are providing 200 plus latest and most important current affairs question answers with explanations. These questions are very important for all upcoming competitive exams. Watch and listen carefully and note down all questions. Question 1. What prompted the US and UK to execute airstrikes in Yemen, targeting Houthi rebels? A. Cybersecurity threats. B. Economic sanctions. C. Nuclear proliferation. D. Red Sea shipping attacks. The correct answer is D. Red Sea shipping attacks. The airstrikes by the US and UK were in retaliation to the escalating attacks by Iran backed Houthi rebels on shipping in the Red Sea. Question 2 Ganga Sagar Mela, India's second largest fair after Pumb Mela, is celebrated in which state of India? A. Mizoram B. West Bengal C. Goa D. Karnataka The correct answer, B. West Bengal Gangasadar Fair is celebrated every year on 14 or 15th January. This fair is held on the day of Makar Sankranti. Question 3 Who is serving as the chief guest at the grand inauguration of the International Purple Fest Goa 2024? A. Dr. Vishwajit Rani B. Ramdas Athwale C. Shripad Naik D. Dr. Pramod Savant The correct answer is D. Dr. Pramod Savant Dr. Pramod Savant, the Chief Minister of Goa, is the chief guest at the grand inauguration. Question 4 Who has been elected as the president in Taiwan's historic election? A. Ho Waiyue B. William Lei Chingte C. Ha Ko Vayu D. Ko Wenjie The correct answer is B. William Lei Chingte In a historic election, Taiwanese voters have chosen William Lei Chingte, a pro-sovereignty candidate, as their president. Question 5 Which nation's tourists are expected to be the first confirmed visitors permitted entry into North Korea since border lockdowns against pandemics started in early 2020? A. UK B. USA C. A. Germany D. Russia The correct answer is D. Russia A group from Russia is poised to be the first known tourists allowed into North Korea since anti-pandemic border lockdowns began in early 2020. Question 6 When is the World Braille Day observed every year? A. 1st January B. 2nd January C. 4th January D. 6th January The correct answer is C. 4th January Every year 4th January is observed as World Braille Day to raise the importance of Braille, which serves as a communication medium for blind and partially sighted people. Question 7 Which press organization has been awarded Pulitzer Prize 2023 for wartime coverage? A. Associated Press B. London Times C. Washington Post D. Wall Street Journal The correct answer is A. Associated Press The Associated Press has been awarded Pulitzer Prize 2023 for wartime coverage. Question 8 What is the name of the University Grants Commission's UTC new directive aimed at promoting ethical education in India? A. Eduethics Initiative B. Values Education 2.0 C. Ethics Excel Program D. Mulya Pravah 2.0 The correct answer is D. Mulya Pravah 2.0 The University Grants Commission, UGC, of India has introduced Mulya Pravah 2.0 as a significant directive to promote ethical practices in higher education, addressing challenges such as favoritism, sexual harassment, and gender discrimination. Question 9. Who has become the fastest bowler to take seven wickets in an ODI international match? A. Shivam Dubey B. Ravindra Jadeja C. Vanindu Hasranga D. Tadam Zampa The correct answer is C. Vanindu Hasranga Sri Lankan leg spinner Vanindu Hasranga taking seven wickets for 19 runs in the ODI against Zimbabwe in Colombo. With this, he has become the fastest bowler to take seven wickets, 
in one match in one day international hasranga had taken 7 wickets in just 35 balls question 10 pm modi will open the longest sea bridge in india how many kilometers long and with six lanes was the bridge built and it cost roughly 18000 crores rupees a 22.8 kilometers b 20.8 kilometers c 21.8 kilometers d 23.8 kilometers the correct answer is c 21.8 kilometers the mumbai trans harbor link mthl or atal setu longest sea bridge in india is set to be inaugurated by the prime minister narendra modi the bridge has been named after former prime minister and late bjp veteran atal bihari vajpayee 21.8 kilometers in length and having six lanes question 11 with which state raja palna guaranteed darkastu is related to a andhra pradesh b telangana c karnataka d tamil nadu the correct answer is b telangana telangana government has introduced a new common application form named raja palna guarantee darkastu to enable access to schemes under its flagship six guarantees program to support disadvantaged sections question 12 during which dates is national road safety week observed annually a february 1st to 7th b january 11th to 17th c march 5th to 11th d april 20th to 26th the correct answer is b january 11th to 17th national road safety week in india is observed annually from january 11th to 17th question 13 what is the daily payment limit for upi transactions set by the national payments corporation of india npci starting from 1st january 2024 a 10000 rupees b 50000 rupees c 1 lakh rupees d 5 lakh rupees the correct answer is c 1 lakh rupees the npci has set the daily payment limit for upi transactions to a maximum of 1 lakh rupees starting from 1st january 2024 question 14 Which country has formally requested India to withdraw military personnel by 15th March 2024? A China B India C the Maldives D Pakistan The correct answer is C Maldives Maldivian President Mohammad Muizu's request for India's troop withdrawal by 15th March along with his pro China stance indicates a potential shift in Maldives foreign policy. causing concerns in india question 15 which indian state has received approval for the zamlani dam multipurpose project with the indian government allocating 1557 crore rupees for its completion a himachal pradesh b uttarakhand c haryana d rajasthan the correct answer is b uttarakhand The Indian government has approved the Zamrani Dam multipurpose project in Uttarakhand. Question 16. As per United Nations World Economic Situation and Prospects report for 2024, what is the projected GDP growth rate for India in 2024? A 5.9%. B 7.1%. C is 6.2%. D 4.0%. The correct answer is C 6.2%. The Indian economy is projected to grow at a rate of 6.2% in 2024, a slight decrease from the 6.3% estimate for 2023. Question 17. What is the recent professional role taken up by Sheel Vardhan Singh? A member of UPSC. B Director General of CISF. C Chief Justice of a High Court D Ambassador to a Foreign Country The correct answer is A Member of UPSC Sheel Vardhan Singh previously the Director General of CISF has transitioned to become a member of the Union Public Service Commission UPSC as per a personal ministry order Question 18 
which nation will host the opening of the 2024 Tata Steel Chess Tournament at which Kanzi? A. China B. Japan C. In Netherlands D. Switzerland The correct answer is C. Netherlands Tata Steel Chess Tournament 2024 will begin at which Kanzi in the Netherlands? Question 19 The Kharsawa Massacre that was recently in news, happened in which current state? A. Odisha B. Ijharkhand C. Bihar D. Madhya Pradesh The correct answer is B. Jharkhand. On 1 January 1948, the town of Kharsawa in present-day Jharkhand witnessed a massacre of Adivasis by the police. Question 20 Famous classical singer Prabha Atre who passed away recently, belonged to which gharana? A. Gwalia gharana B. Patiala gharana C. Kirana gharana D. Rampur gharana The correct answer is C. Kirana gharana Renowned classical singer and Padma Vibhushan awardee Prabha Atre passed away at the age of 92. Prabha Atre was associated with Kirana gharana of Hindustani classical music. Question 21. Who executed the laying of the undersea cables for the Internet Connectivity Project in Lakshadweep? A. BSNL B. Airtel C. Reliance Geo D. Vodafone Idea The correct answer is A. BSNL The undersea cables were laid by the state-owned telecom company BSNL, emphasizing government involvement in critical infrastructure projects. Question 22. Who has recently assumed the role of Chief of Staff at the Southern Naval Command, SNC? A. Vice Admiral Satish Namdeo Ghormed. B. Admiral Karambir Singh. C. Rear Admiral Upal Kundu. D. Vice Admiral A. Hari Kumar. The correct answer is C. Rear Admiral Upal Kundu. Rear Admiral Upal Kundu. A distinguished alumnus of the Indian Naval Academy has recently taken charge as the Chief of Staff at the Southern Naval Command, SNC. Question 23. From 1st January 2024, in which country, same-sex marriage received legal recognition? A. Sweden B. Estonia C. In Netherlands D. Canada The correct answer is B. Estonia Estonia legalized same-sex marriage from 1st January 2024, allowing consenting adults to marry regardless of gender. Question 24. In which country is the location of the 30-meter telescope, TMT, project? A. USA B. Japan C. China D. India The correct answer is USA. The 30-meter telescope TMT project is situated on Mauna Kea, an inactive volcano in Hawaii, USA. Question 25. When is Indian Army Day celebrated every year? A. 12th January B. 13th January C. 14th January D. 15th January The correct answer is D. 15th January Indian Army Day is celebrated every year on 15th January throughout the country. This day was established in 1949 by the first Indian Chief of the Indian Army, General K. M. Karyapa. It is celebrated to mark the anniversary of Karyapa's appointment. Question 26. What is the name of the first chemo drug available as syrup form in India? A. Previl B. Prevol C. Previl D. Prevail. The correct answer is B. Prevail. Doctors at Mumbai's Tata Memorial Center have indigenously developed Prevail, the first chemotherapy drug in India to be available as a syrup formulation. Question 27. In which sports category did Aman Saharawat secure a gold medal at the 2024 Jagreb Open? A. Wrestling. B. Tennis. C. Swimming. D. Athletics The correct answer is A. Wrestling Aman Sahrawat, a rising wrestling star from India, 
clinched a gold medal in the 57 kilograms main singles wrestling event at the 2024 Zagreb Open. Question 28. Who has become the first male cricketer to play 150 matches in T20 International? A. Virat Kohli B. David Warner C. Joe Root D. Rohit Sharma The correct answer is D. Rohit Sharma India captain Rohit Sharma has achieved another feat in T20 International and has become the first male cricketer to play 150 T20 International matches. Question 29. In which state was the country's first toy train powered by CNG inaugurated? A. Rajasthan B. Bihar C. Himachal Pradesh D. West Bengal The correct answer is A. Rajasthan in Rajasthan, the country's first toy train powered by CNG has been inaugurated. Question 30. Which coral atoll is known for its pristine coral reefs and clear blue lagoons in Lakshadweep? A. Kavratti B. Agatti C. Bangaram D. Ikalpeni The correct answer is C. Bangaram Bangaram is renowned for its beautiful coral reefs and clear blue lagoons, making it a popular destination for tourists. Question 31. What is the name of the new frog species discovered in Arunachal Pradesh named after the Patka Hills? A. Aranchalops patkensis B. Grassixillus patkensis C. Irana patkensis D. Kalala patkensis the correct answer is B. Grassixillus patkensis. A new species of see through green frog named Grassixillus patkensis has been discovered in the biodiverse Namdafa National Park in Arunachal Pradesh. Question 32 Who was removed from the position of China's Defense Minister in October 2023? A. W. I. Penge. B. Zhang Yuxia. C. Li Shangafu. D. Xu Kilian. The correct answer is C. Li Shangafu. Li Shangafu was abruptly removed from his position as China's defense minister in October 2023. Question 33. Which country recently launched the Einstein probe, a lotus-shaped satellite, to study transient cosmic phenomena? A. China B. United States C. Russia D. India the correct answer is A. China. China initiated the Einstein probe mission, deploying a lotus-shaped satellite from the Zicheng Satellite Launch Center. Question 34. What is the name of female cheetah that recently gave birth to three cubs in Kuno National Park, Madhya Pradesh? A. Asha B. Adya C. Adima D. Asha The correct answer is D. Asha. Asha, the female cheetah named by Prime Minister Narendra Modi, gave birth to a litter of three cubs inside Kuno National Park in Madhya Pradesh. Question 35. Nilachal flyover, which was seen in the news, is located in which state? A. Assam. B. Sikkim. C. Arunachal Pradesh. D. West Bengal. The correct answer is A. Assam. Assam Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sarma inaugurated the state's longest flyover, named Nilachal Flyover after the Nilachal Hills near which it stands. Question 36. Who won the gold medal in the main's 25-meter standard pistol event at the Asian Shooting Championships 2024? A. Yogesh Singh B. Vijayveer Sidhu C. Yom Prakash D. Saurabh Chaudhary the correct answer is A. Yogesh Singh. Indian shooter Yogesh Singh won the gold medal in the main's 25-meter standard pistol event at the Asian Shooting Championship 2024 held in Jakarta, Indonesia. Question 37. Which company has announced plans to establish a semiconductor plant in Sanand, Gujarat? A. Qualcomm Incorporated. B. Silicon Innovations. C. Simtech. D. NVIDIA Corporation The correct answer is C. Simtech. Simtech, 
a South Korean company, is set to invest 1,250 crore rupees in establishing a semiconductor manufacturing plant in Sanand, Gujarat. Question 38. Who was appointed as the head coach of the India women's national team in October 2023? A. Tushar Arati B. John Lewis C. Amol Mujumdar D. Ramesh Pawar The correct answer is C. Amol Mujumdar Amol Mujumdar, a former Mumbai batsman, was appointed as the head coach of the India women's national team in October 2023. Question 39 which country has announced to become the first European nation to issue digital Schengen visas for visitors to the 2024 Paris Olympics? A. Switzerland B. France C. Germany D. Netherlands The correct answer is B. France France announced that it will become the first European country to fully shift Schengen visa procedures for visitors online and issue digital Schengen visas. Question 40. How much financial aid did India announce for the reconstruction of earthquake-affected areas in Nepal? A. 50 million US dollars B. 100 million US dollars C. 75 million US dollars D. 200 million US dollars The correct answer is C. 75 million US dollars, 75 million US dollars has been announced by India for the post-2015 earthquake reconstruction in Nepal. Question 41. Which cities shared the cleanest city title at the Swat Sarvekshan Awards 2023? A. Surat and Delhi B. Indore and Surat C. Kolkata and Chennai D. Bangalore and Indore the correct answer is B. Indore and Surat. Indore and Surat jointly secured the cleanest city title at the Swat Sarvekshan Awards 2023. Question 42. Recently, which scheme was launched by Karnataka government for providing financial aid to unemployed graduates and diploma holders? A. Yuva Nidhi Scheme. B. State Program for Youth Development. C. Kaushal Vikas Scheme. D. Yuva Shakti Scheme The correct answer is A. Yuva Nidhi Scheme Chief Minister Siddharmeya inaugurated Yuva Nidhi, a scheme providing financial aid to unemployed graduates and diploma holders for two years. Question 43 Which architect firm has been appointed by Adani Group for preparing the draft city master plan of Dharavi redevelopment project? A. Make Architects B. HCP Design C. Hafiz Contractor D. Architecture Discipline The correct answer is C. Hafiz Contractor Adani appointed Hafiz Contractor Architects as the city planning firm for charting out the draft development plan for Dharavi project along with US firms Shasky and Bureau Hapol. Question 44 Which racing driver clinched the Dutch Grand Prix for the third year in a row? A. Lewis Hamilton B. Max Verstappen C. Charles Leclerc D. Sebastian Wetzel The correct answer is B. Max Verstappen Verstappen secured his ninth consecutive victory in Formula 1, matching Sebastian Wetzel's 2013 record. Question 45 On which date is National Human Trafficking Awareness Day observed annually? A. 11th January B. 14th February C. 8th March D. 22nd April The correct answer is A. 11th January National Human Trafficking Awareness Day is observed annually on 11th January. Question 46 Who recently launched the Secure Army Mobile Ecosystem Sambhav? A. Indian Navy B. Indian Air Force C. Indian Army D. Indian Coast Guard The correct answer is A. Indian Army Indian Army has developed an indigenously developed end-to-end -end secure mobile ecosystem with instant connectivity on the moon, which has been named Sambhav, Secure Army Mobile Bharat version. Question 47 
Deadpool is the author of Chip War, the fight for the world's most critical technology. A. Yuval Noah Harari B. Malcolm Gladwell C. Chris Miller D. Walter Isaacso The correct answer is C. Chris Miller Chris Miller is the author of Chip War, the fight for the world's most critical technology, which explains the Aschina semiconductor rivalry. Question 48 How many countries jointly lead the world's most powerful passport ranking, offering visa-free or visa-on-arrival access to 194 destinations? A. 4 B. 5 C. 6 D. 7 The correct answer is C. 6 France, Germany, Italy, Japan, Singapore and Spain collectively top the global passport ranking providing unprecedented visa-free or visa-on-arrival access to 194 destinations, marking a historic milestone. Question 49. Which state secured the overall championship in the inaugural DU Beach Games 2024? A. Goa B. Gujarat C. Madhya Pradesh D. Kerala The correct answer is C. Madhya Pradesh Madhya Pradesh emerged as the overall champion at the first ever DU Beach Games 2024. Question 50. Which motivational speaker and NGO founder was appointed as a brand ambassador for the government's Vixit Bharat Abhiyan initiative? A. Sonu Sood B. Amitabh Shah C. Ujwal Patni D. Sandeep Maheshwari The correct answer is B. Amitabh Shah the government appointed prominent motivational speaker and CSR icon Amitabh Shah, founder of NGO Yuva Unstoppable, as a brand ambassador for its Vixit Bharat Abhiyan program. Question 51. International Camel Festival was organized in which city of Rajasthan? A. Udaipur B. Jaisalmer C. Bikaner D. Jaipur the correct answer is C. Bikaner. International Camel Festival was organized in Bikaner district of Rajasthan. It started with the Heritage Walk, which started from Rampuria Haveli and passed through the main roads of the city and ended at Rao Bikaji Ki Tekri. Question 52. What is the full form of FMR as mentioned in the news regarding India's border with Myanmar? A. Financial Market Reforms B. Free medical resources. C. Foreign military relations. D. Free movement regime. The correct answer is D. Free movement regime. FMR refers to the free movement regime operational on India's border with Myanmar. Question 53. The Hathi community, which was recently in news for legal dispute on its inclusion in scheduled tribes list, is primarily found in which state of India? A. Himachal Pradesh B. Uttarakhand C. Karnataka D. Tamil Nadu The correct answer, A. Himachal Pradesh The Hatti community, which has been at the centre of recent legal discussions regarding its inclusion in the scheduled tribes, sent, list, is primarily found in Himachal Pradesh. Question 54 in which city did the Prime Minister inaugurate the 27th National Youth Festival on 12 January 2024? A. Mumbai B. Aurangabad C. Nashik D. Nagpur The correct answer is C. Nashik The 27th National Youth Festival was inaugurated by the Prime Minister in Nashik, Maharashtra, on 12 January 2024 with the theme Mya Bharat Viksit Bharat at 2047, emphasizing the empowerment of young minds. Question 55. Which country is said to become the world's largest producer of lentils during the 2023-24 crop years? A. Australia B. Russia C. Canada D. India The correct answer is D. India India is on track to become the leading global producer of lentils in the 2023-24 crop years due to expanded cultivation. Question 56. Which sports category did Divyakriti Singh receive the Arjuna Award for, 
making her the first woman from Rajasthan to achieve this honor? A. Equestrian Sports B. Badminton C. Athletics D. Shooting The correct answer is A. Equestrian Sports Divyakriti Singh was honored with the Arjuna Award for her achievements in equestrian sports, marking a historic moment for Indian sports, especially as the first woman from Rajasthan to receive this accolade. Question 57. Which country recently imposed a ban on its citizens from traveling to Russia or Ukraine for employment? A. India B. Pakistan C. Nepal D. Bangladesh the correct answer is C. Nepal. Nepal's government imposed a ban on its citizens from traveling to Russia or Ukraine for employment due to concerns over their recruitment in the ongoing armed conflict. Question 58. What is the brand name of the environmental label under the Indian Forest Wood Certification Scheme recently launched by the Environment Ministry? A. Vriksha B. Harit C. Raman D. Vanikran. The correct answer is C. Raman. The brand name of the environmental label provided under the Indian Forest Wood Certification Scheme, recently launched by the Environment Ministry, is Praman. Question 59. In which city was the All India Conference of Director Generals and Inspector Generals of Police held in 2024? A. Mumbai. B. Jaipur. C. In New Delhi. D. Kolkata. The correct answer is B. Jaipur. The All India Conference of Director Generals and Inspector Generals of Police in 2024 was held in Jaipur. Question 60. Who has been appointed as India's Ambassador to the World Trade Organization, WTO, in Geneva? A. Rajesh Kumar Singh. B. Senthil Pandinsi. C. Anjali Sharma D. Prakash Verma The correct answer is B. Senthil Pandian C. Senthil Pandian C., a 2002 IS officer from the Uttar Pradesh cadre, has been appointed as India's ambassador to the World Trade Organization, WTO, in Geneva, succeeding Brajendra Navneet. Question 61 What is the new name of the food security scheme in Rajasthan? Previously known as Indira Rasu Yojana. A. Atal Bhojan Yojana. B. Shri Annapurna Rasoi Yojana. C. Atal Rasoi. D. Swami Vivekananda Ahar Yojana. The correct answer B. Shri Annapurna Rasoi Yojana. The food security scheme in Rajasthan, previously known as Indira Rasoi Yojana, has been renamed to Shri Annapurna Rasoi Yojana. Question 62. Who has been elected for a second term as Bhutan's Prime Minister in the recent election? A. Jigme Khesar Namgyal Wangchak B. Lotai Sharing C. Dasho Sharing Tobge D. Sharing Tobge The correct answer is D. Sharing Tobge Sharing Tobge has been re-elected for a second term as Bhutan's Prime Minister. Question 63. Which airport reclaimed the title of the world's best airport for the year 2023 in the Skytrax Awards? A. Dubai International Airport B. Singapore's Changi Airport C. Hamad International Airport, Qatar D. Heathrow Airport, London The correct answer is B. Singapore's Changi Airport Singapore's Changi Airport reclaimed the title of the world's best airport for 2023 in the Skytrax Awards, solidifying its reputation for excellence in air travel. Question 64. Which Chinese city hosts the annual ice and snow festival known for its large-scale ice sculptures? A. Beijing B. Shanghai C. Harbin D. Guangzhou the correct answer is C. Harbin. The annual Ice and Snow Festival, famous for its spectacular and large-scale ice sculptures, is hosted in the city of Harbin. Question 65. Which organization scientists confirmed 2023 as the hottest year ever recorded? A. European Union. 
B. United Nations C. World Health Organization D. NASA The correct answer is A. European Union The European Union's Copernicus Climate Change Service, C3S, declared 2023 as the hottest year on record, indicating a potential milestone in the last 100,000 years. Question 66 Who has been elected as the new Chief Minister of Chhattisgarh? A. Vishnudev Sai B. Raman Singh C. Raza Munda D. Dev Sir. The correct answer is A. Vishnudev Sai Former Chhattisgarh BJP President Vishnu Dio Sai will be the new Chief Minister of the state. Vishnudev Sai will be the first tribal Chief Minister of Chhattisgarh. Question 67 What was the main objective of the ACN India Millet Festival inaugurated by Union Agriculture Minister Arjun Munda? A. Promoting rice cultivation B. Raising awareness about millet C. Celebrating cultural diversity D. Establishing a market for wheat-based products The correct answer is B. Raising awareness about millet Union Agriculture Minister Arjun Munda inaugurated the ACN India Millet Festival in New Delhi on 14 December 2023. The festival's objective is to raise awareness and establish a larger market for millet and millet-based products, aligning with the International Year of Millets. Question 68 Who has been elected as the new Chief Minister of Madhya Pradesh? A. Mohan Yadav B. Jyotiraditya Sindhya C. Digvijay Singh D. Shivraj Singh Chauhan The correct answer is A. Mohan Yadav Mohan Yadav has been elected as the new Chief Minister of Madhya Pradesh. In the outgoing government, Higher Education Minister Sri Yadav was elected from Ujjain South seat. Mohan Yadav became MLA for the first time in 2013. Question 69 what is the full form of CRPS, the most painful condition known to mankind? A. Compile Register Pain System B. Combo Referral Pain Syndrome C. Confer Rejected Pain Syndrome D. Complex Regional Pain Syndrome The correct answer is D. Complex Regional Pain Syndrome A 10-year-old Australian girl has developed incurable complex regional pain syndrome, CRPS, often called the most painful condition known to mankind. According to Stanford Medicine, CRPS usually affects limbs after injury and CRPS causes greater pain than a typical injury. Question 70. Which country has recently surpassed Afghanistan to become the world's largest producer of opium in 2023 according to Arnaud? A. Pakistan B. Myanmar C. Vietnam D. China The correct answer is B. Myanmar Myanmar has risen to become the world's largest producer of opium in 2023, surpassing Taliban-ruled Afghanistan, which had launched a major crackdown on poppy cultivation since early 2022. Question 71 Who becomes first Indian to take wickets of both father and son in test cricket? A. Jaspreet Bumrah B. Ravichandran Ashwin C. Umesh Yadav D. Mohammad Shami The correct answer is B. Ravichandran Ashwin Ravichandran Ashwin has become the first Indian to take wickets of a father-son duo in test cricket. Ashwin dismissed Tejanreen Chandalpal for 12, 44, in West Indies. Ashwin had dismissed Tejanreen's father Shivnarine Chandarpal for the first time in 2011 and went on to dismiss him multiple times. Question 72 Why did India not sign the Global Renewable Energy Pledge at the COP28 summit recently? A. Development concerns B. Lack of resources C. Political disagreement D. Technological limitations the correct answer is A. Development Concerns India has declined to sign on to a Global Renewable Energy Pledge launched at the COP28 Climate Summit in Dubai. Question 73 Which Indian state recently introduced the Mahalakshmi Scheme 
offering free bus travel for women, girls, and transgender individuals? A. Telangana B. Kerala C. Tamil Nadu D. Andhra Pradesh The correct answer is A. Telangana Telangana's government, led by Chief Minister Revant Reddy, launched the Mahalakshmi scheme to provide free bus travel for women, girls, and transgender individuals within the state, effective from 9 December 2023. Question 74. At which place the Vak statue of Baba Ambedkar is installed recently? A. Mumbai B. Bangalore C. Jaipur D. In New Delhi The correct answer is C. Jaipur Wax Museum. In a significant tribute to the Chief Architect of the Indian Constitution, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, a wax statue has been unveiled at the Jaipur Wax Museum, Nahargarh Fort. Question 75. Which country's constitutional court confirmed the re-election of President Andre Rajolina? A. Mojambik B. Mauritius C. Madagascar D. Malloy The correct answer is C. Madagascar Madagascar's Constitutional Court confirmed President Andre Rajoelina's re-election for a third term, declaring him the winner with 59% of the votes cast. Please like, share and subscribe to this YouTube channel and proceed. Question 76. Who recently returned to power as Prime Minister in Poland after nine years? A. Matthews Morawiecki B. Donald Tusk C. Volodymyr Zelensky D. Vladimir Putin The correct answer is B. Donald Tusk. Donald Tusk returns to power in Poland after nine years, securing support of the Polish parliament on 11 December 2023. Question 77. Who is set to assume the position of Vice Chief of Naval Staff on 4 January? A. Vice A. Admiral Dinesh Tripathi B. Vice Admiral Sanjeev Tripathi C. Vice Admiral Rakesh Nagar D. Vice Admiral Hari Kumar The correct answer is A. Vice Admiral Dinesh Tripathi Vice Admiral Dinesh Tripathi sets to assume the position of Vice Chief of Naval Staff on 4 January. Question 78 Which country launched the world's first methane liquid oxygen rocket, which could become the next generation of launch vehicles into space? A. Russia B. North Korea C. China D. USA The correct answer is C. China. A private Chinese firm, Landspace, successfully launched the world's first methane-liquid oxygen rocket, which could become the next generation of launch vehicles into space. The Jukto carrier rocket took off from the Zhukuan Satellite Launch Center. Question 79 who is the title sponsor of Patna Pirates team of Pro Kabaddi League? A. Dream 11 B. Steel Authority of India C. Bihar Government D. Vivo The correct answer is C. Bihar Government Bihar Government will sponsor Patna Pirates team of Pro Kabaddi League. Bihar Government will be the title sponsor of Patna Pirates team of Pro Kabaddi League. Question 80 why was Noah Moitra expelled from Lok Sabha on 8 December 2023? A. Financial misconduct B. Involvement in cash for query scam C. Violation of parliamentary dress code D. Absence without leave The correct answer is B. Involvement in cash for query scam Lok Sabha member Mahua Moitra was expelled on 8 December 2023 on charges of a cash for query scam. Question 81. What is the targeted per capita income range in Vision India at 2047? A. 5000 to $8,000 B. 10000 to $12,000 C. 18000 to $20,000 D. 22000 to $25,000 the correct answer is C. 18,000 to 20,000 dollars. 
Vision India at 2047 aims to achieve a per capita income in the range of $18,000 to $20,000 by 2047. Question 82. According to the Zammu and Kashmir Reorganization, Amendment, Bill 2023, who can be nominated by the Lieutenant Governor to the Legislative Assembly? A. Residents with long-term political experience. B. Up to two members from the Kashmiri migrant community. C. Any Indian citizen residing in Jammu and Kashmir. D. Members of recognized political parties only. The correct answer is B. Up to two members from the Kashmiri migrant community. The bill reserves seven seats for scheduled castes, nine for scheduled tribes, and allows nomination of two members from Kashmiri migrant community. Question 83 Captain Fatima Vasin created history by becoming the first woman medical officer to be deployed at A. International Space Station B. Amazon Rainforest Mobile Medical Unit C. Siachen Glacier D. Antarctic Expeditionary Station The correct answer is C. Siachen Glacier Captain Fatima Vasin created history by becoming the first woman medical officer to be deployed at an operational post in the world's highest battlefield, the Siachen Glacier. Question 84. Which Indian American has been awarded the Martin Luther King Grand Parade Special Award? A. Harmeet Dhillo B. Krishna Vavilala C. Irohit Khanna D. Imaya Ajmera the correct answer is B. Krishna Vavilala. Krishna Vavilala, an Indian American, has been awarded the Martin Luther King Grand Parade Special Award. Question 85. Which Indian origin novelist was honored with Singapore's highest art honor? A. Alka Singh. B. Meera Chand. C. Asha Lata. D. Preeti Desai. The correct answer is B. Meera Chand. Singapore-based Indian origin writer Meera Chand, 81, was awarded the Cultural Medallion, the country's most prestigious art honour, for her artistic excellence and her contribution to enriching the country's art and culture landscape. Question 86. Bukaswaha Mine, which was seen in the news, is located in which state? A. Chhattisgarh B. Madhya Pradesh C. Assam D. Andhra Pradesh The correct answer is B. Madhya Pradesh The mine is inside a forest in Bukaswaha, located 200 km from Sanchi, Madhya Pradesh. Madhya Pradesh accounts for about 90% of the total diamond resource of the country. Andhra Pradesh and Chhattisgarh are the other states that produce diamonds. Question 87 When does the Jewish Festival of Lights Hanukkah typically commence in the Jewish calendar. A. 25th of the month of Sivan. B. 25th of the month of Tisri. C. 25th of the month of Adar. D. 25th of the month of Kislev. The correct answer is D. 25th day of the month of Kislev. Hanukkah begins on the 25th day of the month of Kislev, the ninth month in the Jewish calendar. Question 88. Whom is the Chief of Defence Staff, CDS, of India? A. General Bipin Rawat B. Admiral Karambir Singh C. Air Chief Marshal Rakesh Kumar Singh Bhadoria D. General Anil Chauhan The correct answer is D. General Anil Chauhan Chief of Defence Staff, CDS, General Anil Chauhan presided over the first session of the Combined Leadership Conclave in New Delhi on 6 December 2023. Question 89. Which India-born British man won the Freedom of the City of London Award? A. Lakshmi Nivas Mittal B. Gopi Hinduja C. Manish Tiwari D. Kiran Mazumdar Shaw The correct answer is C. Manish Tiwari Manish Tiwari, an India-born British man, won the Freedom of the City of London Award. Question 90. What change has been made to UPI limits in the December 2023 RBI MPC meeting? A. Increased to 2 lakh rupees per transaction. B. Reduced to 50,000 rupees per transaction. 
C. Maintained at 1 lakh rupees per transaction. D. Increased to 5 lakh rupees per transaction. The correct answer is D. Increased to 5 lakh rupees per transaction. The UPI limit has been increased to 5 lakh rupees per transaction for hospitals and educational institutions. Question 91. Why was the date 13th December of the security breach significant? 8th Anniversary of India's Independence B. 22nd Anniversary of the 2001 Indian Parliament Attack C. In National Sports Day D. Religious Holiday The correct answer is B. 22nd Anniversary of the 2001 Indian Parliament Attack On 13 December 2023, two individuals breached security and entered the Lok Sabha chamber from the public gallery. Question 92. Where did Prime Minister Narendra Modi participate in the Navy Day program in 2023? A. Goa B. Kochi in Kela C. Sindhudurg in Maharashtra D. Chennai in Tamil Nadu The correct answer is C. Sindhudurg in Maharashtra Prime Minister Narendra Modi attended the Navy Day event in Sindhudurg, Maharashtra this year. Question 93. Who recently became the third woman from India to achieve the title of Grand Master in Chess? A. Sneha Gupta B. Vaishali Ramesh Babu C. Riya Sharma D. Nandini Patel The correct answer is B. Vaishali Ramesh Babu Vaishali Ramesh Babu, a 22-year-old chess player, earned the title of Grand Master at the 4L Lobregat Open in Spain becoming the third woman from India to achieve this feat, following Koneru Hampi and Harika Droavalli. Question 94. Whom is the Chief of Defence Staff, CDS, of India? A. General Bipin Rawat B. Admiral Karambir Singh C. Air Chief Marshal Rakesh Kumar Singh Bhadoria D. General Anil Chauhan The correct answer is D. General Anil Chauhan Chief of Defence Staff, CDS, General Anil Chauhan presided over the first session of the Combined Leadership Conclave in New Delhi on 6 December 2023. Question 95. Which of the following Union Ministers has inaugurated the Global Fisheries Summit India 2023? A. Ajay Singh B. Ihardeep Singh Puri C. Rajnath Singh D. Parshottam Rupala the correct answer is D. Parshottam Rupala Union Minister of Fisheries, Animal Husbandry and Dairying Shri Parshottam Rupala will inaugurate the two-day mega-event Global Fisheries Conference India 2023 at Gujarat Science City in Ahmedabad. The theme of this conference is Celebration of Fisheries and Aquaculture Wealth. Question 96 Who has launched the initiative Develop India 2047? Voice of Youth A. Narendra Modi B. Amit Shah C. Rajnath Singh D. Anurag Thakur The correct answer is A. Narendra Modi PM Narendra Modi has launched the initiative Vixit Bharat 2047, Voice of Youth. The aim of this initiative is to integrate the youth of the country to build a developed India. Question 97 what is the primary source of the new jet fuel recently developed by Firefly Green Fuels? A. Cooking oil B. Human sewage C. Rapeseed oil D. Agricultural remnants The correct answer is B. Human sewage The innovative jet fuel, recently developed by Firefly Green Fuels, is derived primarily from human sewage. Question 98 what is India's rank in Climate Change Performance Index 2023? A. Fourth B. Fifth C. Sixth D. Seventh The correct answer is D. Seventh. According to the report released in Dubai during the Global Climate Talks COP28, India is ranked seventh in the Climate Change Performance Index 2023. Last year, India was at eighth place in this index. Question 99. What authorization did Bandhan Bank recently receive from RBI? 
A. Home Loan Disbursement B. Pension Disbursement for Railway Employees C. Mobile Banking Integration D. Credit Card Issuance The correct answer is B. Pension Disbursement for Railway Employees Bandhan Bank received RBI approval for disbursement of pensions through EPPOs for Retired Ministry of Railways Employees. Question 100 Who is going to become Meta India Head? A. Sandhya Devnathan B. Shrishti Malakar C. Arundhati Chaube D. Saifali Verma The correct answer is A. Sandhya Devnathan Meta Platforms Incorporated, formerly named Facebook Incorporated, and the Facebook Incorporated is an American multinational technology conglomerate based in Menlo Park, California. Founders are Mark Zuckerberg, Eduardo Savrin, Andrew McCollum, Dustin Moskowitz, Chris Hughes. Question 101 Which badminton mains doubles pair is in line to receive the Major Dhyan Chan Khel Ratna Award? A. Pranav Jerry Chopra and Akshay Devlikar B. Manu Atri and B. Sumit Reddy C. Satvik Shiraz Rankireddy and Chirak Shetty D. Kidambi Shrikant and Parupali Kashyap The correct answer is C. Satvik Shiraz Rankireddy and Chirak Shetty Satvik Shiraz Rankireddy and Chirak Shetty, India's premier badminton mains doubles pair, are poised to receive the Major Dhyan Chand Khel Ratna Award recognizing their exceptional achievements, including victories at various prestigious tournaments. Question 102. What name has been given to the tiny, self-assembling robots made from human cells by scientists of Tufts University and Harvard University? A. Xenobots B. Anthrobots C. Biorobots D. Cellbots The correct answer is B. Anthrobots Anthrobots are tiny, self-assembling robots made from human cells. They can move around in a lab dish and are capable of healing neurons and damaged tissue. Question 103. What type of natural disaster prompted India to provide immediate relief assistance to Papua New Guinea? A. Earthquake B. Tsunami C. Volcanic eruption D. Cyclone the correct answer is C. Volcanic eruption. India has announced immediate relief assistance of $1 million to Papua New Guinea in response to a volcanic eruption on 20 November. The eruption of Mount Ulavun in Papua New Guinea led to the evacuation of over 26,000 people and created urgent humanitarian needs. Question 104 What was the date of the merger of the Housing Development Finance Corporation, HDFC? and private lender HDFC Bank. A. 3rd July 2023 B. 2nd July 2023 C. 4th July 2023 D. 1st July 2023 The correct answer is D. 1st July 2023 The Boards of Housing Development Finance Corporation, HDFC and private lender HDFC Bank approved 1st July as the effective date of merger. Question 105. Who has IDFC First Bank collaborated with for the first SWIP credit card? A. Visa B. American Express C. MasterCard D. Discover The correct answer is C. MasterCard IDFC First Bank has partnered with MasterCard to develop the youth-centric first SWIP credit card. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel and proceed for the next question. Question 106 Sandy Storm is the autobiography of which among the following veteran cricketers? A. Dilip Vengsalkar B. Mohinder Amarnath C. Sandeep Patil D. Roger Binney the correct answer is C. Sandeep Patil. Sandeep Patil is a former Indian cricketer who played for the Indian national team in the 1980s and 1990s. He was a right-handed batsman and right-arm of break baller and was known for his aggressive style of play. Question 107. 
Indian team lost to which country in the FIH Mains Junior World Cup semi-finals in Kuala Lumpur? A. Germany B. In Netherlands C. Australia D. Argentina The correct answer is A. Germany Germany beats India 4-1 in the FIH Mains Junior World Cup semi-finals in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia on 14 December 2023. Question 108. Recently, a new species of amphipod Demarchestia alanensis was discovered in which state? A. Karnataka B. Odisha C. Assam D. West Bengal The correct answer is B. Odisha Researchers from Barhampur University in Odisha discovered a new species of marine amphipod in Chilika Lake which was named Demarchistia alanensis after renowned crustacean taxonomy expert, Professor Alan Myers. Question 109. Operation Muskan, which was seen in the news, was implemented in which city? A. Mumbai B. Patna C. Bangalore D. Chennai The correct answer is A. Mumbai over 5,000 miners rescued by Mumbai police so far this year under Operation Muskan, a Ministry of Home Affairs project lot it aims to find missing children and rescue and rehabilitate them. Question 110. Which two entities are involved in the MOVE for the deployment of EV charging points? A. Tata Motors and Hindustan Petroleum B. Reliance Industries and Bharat Petroleum C. Tata Power and Indian Oil Inc. D. Mahindra Electric and Oil and Natural Gas Corporation. The correct answer is C. Tata Power and Indian Oil Inc. Tata Power EV Charging Solutions Ltd. TPEVCSL and Indian Oil Corporation Limited IOCL have signed and more to deploy over 500 EV charging points nationwide. Question 111. What is the function of cash reserve ratio, CRR, in the Indian banking system? A. To regulate consumer credit. B. To determine the bank rate. C. To control liquidity in the banking system. D. To set credit limits for commercial banks. The correct answer is C. To control liquidity in the banking system. CRR mandates banks to maintain a daily balance with RBI influencing liquidity in the banking system. Question 112. Who has recently assumed the position of Executive Director at the Insolvency and Bankruptcy Board of India, IB? A. Jitesh Das B. Jitesh John C. Jitesh Mohan D. Jitesh Reddy The correct answer is B. Jitesh John In a recent announcement, the Insolvency and Bankruptcy Board of India, IB, confirmed that Jitesh John, a seasoned Indian Economic Service Officer from the 2001 batch, has assumed the position of Executive Director. Question 113. What was the primary purpose of INS Talmudli commissioned on 14 December 2023 at Naval Dockyard, Vishakhartnam? A. Deep Sea Exploration B. Coastal Surveillance and Protection C. Humanitarian Aid Missions D. Space Research The correct answer is B. Coastal Surveillance and Protection The primary purpose of INS Talmubli commissioned on 14 December 2023 at Naval Dockyard, Vishakhapatnam is Coastal Surveillance and Protection. Question 114 The world's first portable hospital, Arogya Metri 8 Cube, was unveiled on 2 December 2023 in which city? A. Mumbai B. Gurugram C. In New Delhi D. Bangalore The correct answer is B. Gurugram. This portable hospital can handle bullet injuries, burns, head, spinal and chest injuries, minor surgeries, fractures and major bleeding. It can treat as many as 200 patients. These cubes are light and portable and can be rapidly deployed anywhere from airdrops to ground transportation. Question 115. In which state was the Bhagwant Mansarkar Tuhade Dwar scheme launched 
aiming to provide doorstep delivery of 43 citizen services. A. Haryana B. Punjab C. Delhi D. Uttar Pradesh The correct answer is B. Punjab. Punjab Chief Minister Bhagwant Man and AAP National Convener Arvind Kejriwal launched the Bhagwant Man Sarkar to Hade Dwar scheme in Ludhiana, providing doorstep delivery of 43 services in the state. Question 116. Which country has launched Alhosan app to track children's vaccination? A. UAE B. Qatar C. Ibrahim D. Israel The correct answer is A. UAE The United Arab Emirates, UAE, will use the upgraded Alhosan app to track children's vaccinations and children will not be allowed in schools if their vaccination records are not updated on the app. Question 117. What was the primary purpose of INS Talmudli commissioned on 14 December 2023 at Naval Dockyard, Vishakhartnam? A. Deep Sea Exploration B. Coastal Surveillance and Protection C. Humanitarian Aid Missions D. Space Research the correct answer is B. Coastal Surveillance and Protection. The primary purpose of INS Talmugli commissioned on 14 December 2023 at Naval Dockyard, Vishakhapatnam is Coastal Surveillance and Protection. Question 118. Henry Kissinger, considered the most dominant American statesman of the Cold War period and who recently passed away was former. A. President of United States B. Secretary of State of United States C. Prime Minister of England D. Prime Minister of Canada The correct answer is B. Secretary of State of United States Former U.S. Secretary of State Henry Kissinger, considered the most dominant American statesman of the Cold War period, passed away at age 100. As National Security Advisor and Secretary of State, the German-born Kissinger was the primary architect of historic rapprochement with China, landmark nuclear arms control talks with the Soviets, the 1973 israel europe peace deal, and the eventual Vietnam War exit. He was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 1973. Question 119. What does RCS stand for in the context of the merit no merit routes operation by Flybig? A. Remote Communication System B. Regional Connectivity Service C. Rapid Cargo Shipping D. Runway Control System The correct answer is B. Regional Connectivity Service RCS stands for Regional Connectivity Service, a subsidized airfare scheme under Udan. Question 120 Where are the headquarters of the International Cricket Council? A. London B. Melbourne C. Cape Town D. Dubai The correct answer is D. Dubai. The International Cricket Council has its headquarters in Dubai which is a global governing body of cricket. It was founded as the Imperial Cricket Conference in 1909 by representatives of England, Australia and South Africa. Question 121 Who has become the first Indian to operate NASA's Mars rover? A. Preeti Narayan B. Soni Saran C. Akshata Krishnamurti D. Surbhi Kumari The correct answer is C. Akshata Krishnamurti Akshata Krishnamurti has become the first Indian to operate a Mars rover with the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, NASA, in the United States. Question 122 World's oldest wooden structure has been discovered in which country? A. Zambia B. Egypt C. E. Greece D. Turkey The correct answer is A. Zambia Archaeologists have unearthed what is claimed to be the most ancient wooden construction ever found close to the border of Zambia and Tanzania, located on the banks of a river in Zambia. Question 123 who has been appointed as the chairperson and independent director of Swiggy's board? A. Vivek Sundar B. Anand Kripalu C. Dipinder Goyal D. Kunal Behel 
The correct answer is B. Anand Kripalu. Anand Kripalu, with over 40 years of experience in the fast moving consumer goods FMCG, industry, has taken charge as the chairperson and independent director of Swiggy's board. Question 124 How many new airports is Uttar Pradesh set to witness in the next two years, according to the plans unveiled by Union Civil Aviation Minister Jyotiraditya Sindhya? A. 6 B. 7 C. 9 D. 5 The correct answer is C. 9 Uttar Pradesh is poised for a significant aviation transformation as the plans reveal the construction of nine new airports within the next two years, contributing to a total of 18 airports in the state. Question 125. Who has been appointed as the new chairman of Max Life Insurance? A. Rajiv Anand B. Rajiv Ahir C. Anand Mohan D. Kulbhushan Singh The correct answer is A. Rajiv Anand Rajiv Anand has been appointed as the new chairman of Max Life Insurance. Question 126. Which countries jointly launched the Missilesat to satellite? A. China and Egypt. B. Russia and Brazil. C. USA and India. D. Japan and South Korea. The correct answer is A. China and Egypt. China and Egypt collaborated to develop and jointly assemble the Missasat to satellite, representing a significant milestone in their space partnership. The satellite was launched from the Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center in northwest China using the Long March to Sea Carrier rocket. Question 127 Who tops the list of world's 100 most powerful women globally in 2023? A. Christine Lagarde B. Kamala Harris C. Georgia Meloni D. Ursula von der Leyen The correct answer is D. Ursula von der Leyen Ursula von der Leyen, President of the European Commission, holds the top spot. Question 128 Bunny Grasslands, which was seen in the news, is located in which state UT? A. Madhya Pradesh B. Gujarat C. Karnataka D. Kerala The correct answer is B. Gujarat The union government has approved setting up a breeding centre for cheetahs at the Banni grasslands in Gujarat's Kutch district. Question 129 What is the name of the first-ever AI-powered solution for automated agricultural news analysis developed in India? A. Krishi 24-7 B. Kisan 24-7 C. Krishak AI 24-7 D. Fasal AI 24-7 The correct answer is A. Krishi 24-7 Department of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare, DFW, in collaboration with Vadwani AI developed Krishi 24-7, first-ever AI-powered solution for automated agricultural news analysis. Question 130 which prestigious award did Kabir Bedi recently conferred with at a private ceremony held in Mumbai? A. Bharat Ratan B. Order of Merit of the Italian Republic C. Legion of Honor D. Padma Vibhushan The correct answer is B. Order of Merit of the Italian Republic Kabir Bedi was awarded the Order of Merit of the Italian Republic, Merito della Repubblica Italiana the country's highest honor awarded to civilians, at a private ceremony held in Mumbai. Question 131. Which edition of the Golden Globe Awards is going to take place in January 2024, 8th, 78th? B. 79th. C. 80th. D. 81st. The correct answer is D. 81st. The glitz and glamour of Hollywood took center stage on Monday morning as the nominees for the 81st Annual Golden Globe Awards were revealed, setting the tone for the much-anticipated 2024 awards season. Question 132 Who broke the marathon world record recently at the Chicago Marathon 2023? A. Elliot Kipchoge B. Kenenisa Bekele C. Ehele Jebslasi D. Kelvin Kiptum. 
The correct answer is D. Kelvin Kiptum. Kenyan runner Kelvin Kiptum broke the marathon world record on 8 October 2023 at the Chicago Marathon with a time of 2 hours and 35 seconds. He beat the previous record set by Elliot Kipchoge in 2022 by more than 30 seconds. Question 133 India recently celebrated its 50 years of diplomatic ties with which country in December 2023? A. Ukraine B. Thailand C. Singapore D. Republic of Korea The correct answer is D. Republic of Korea Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi conveyed his greetings to President of Republic of Korea, Mr. Yoo Suk Yeol, on completing 50 years of establishment of diplomatic ties between India and Republic of Korea. Question 134 which country won the ODI Cricket World Cup most number of times? A. England B. Australia C. India D. West Indies The correct answer is B. Australia Australia won the Cricket World Cup most number of times. The most successful side playing international cricket is Australia, which has won six one-day international World Cups more than any other country. Question 135. Garba, which was included in the list of intangible cultural heritage by UNESCO, is from which state? A. Assam. B. Gujarat. C. West Bengal. D. Kerala. The correct answer is B. Gujarat. Gujarat's traditional dance form Garba was included in the list of intangible cultural heritage by UNESCO. Question 136. As per a recent study, which planet will be temporarily invisible from the Earth in 2025? A. Neptune B. Jupiter C. Saturn D. Uranus The correct answer is C. Saturn. Saturn's rings, in 2025, will appear to vanish from sight from the Earth. This temporary vanishing act is attributed to Saturn's tilt and an optical illusion. Question 137. What penalty has the Unique Identification Authority of India, UIDI, imposed against operators found guilty of overcharging for Aadhaar services? A. 50,000 rupees. B. 10,000 rupees. C. 75,000 rupees. D. 25,000 rupees. The correct answer is A. 50,000 rupees. To ensure fair and affordable access to Aadhaar services, UIDI has imposed a penalty of 50,000 rupees against operators found guilty of overcharging, as disclosed by Minister of State for Electronics and IT, Rajiv Chandrasekhar. Question 138 What is Nirmala Sitalman's ranking in Forbes World's 100 Most Powerful Women 2023? A. 30th B. 32nd C. 35th D. 40th The correct answer is B. 32nd Nirmala Sitalman secured the 32nd spot, marking her highest rank to date. Question 139 Where was the 5th Honey Bee Day celebrated with the theme Bee Honey Trials? A. Manipur B. Mizoram C. Arunachal Pradesh D. Nagaland the correct answer is D. Nagaland. The 5th Nagaland Honey Bee Day was celebrated with enthusiasm at Naga Heritage Village, Kisma, in Nagaland, under the theme Bee Honey Trials. Deputy Chief Minister Tia Zeeling congratulated the accomplished honey bee farmers at both the state and district levels during the event. Question 140 When is Universal Health Coverage, UHC, Day observed annually? A. 4th December B. 8th December C. 10th December D. 12th December The correct answer is D. 12th December Universal Health Coverage, UHC, Day, observed annually on 12th December, serves as a global reminder of the essential need for a healthcare system that provides equitable and comprehensive healthcare. Question 141 
which Union Ministry launched a national protocol to provide training of Anganwadi workers to help children with disabilities? A. Ministry of Health and Family Welfare B. Ministry of Women and Child Development C. Ministry of MSME D. Ministry of Home Affairs The correct answer is B. Ministry of Women and Child Development The government launched a national protocol to provide for training of Anganwadi workers to track and help children with disabilities. Question 142 which company partnered with Bridgestone India to install EV chargers for four-wheelers? A. Adani Power B. Reliance Power C. Tata Power D. NTPC The correct answer is C. Tata Power Bridgestone India has partnered with Tata Power to install high-capacity DC fast chargers for four-wheelers at Bridgestone dealerships across India. This initiative will make it easier for EV owners to recharge their vehicles quickly and conveniently and support the growing EV ecosystem in India. Question 143 Who is the first Telugu actor to win the Best Actor Award at the National Film Awards 2023? A. Juna. B. Vijay Devrakonda C. Alu Arjun D. Mahesh Babu the correct answer is C. Alu Arjun. The Best Actor Award at the National Film Awards 2023 has been given to actor Alu Arjun. Alu Arjun has been given this award for his superhit film Pushpa. Alu Arjun is also the first Telugu actor to win the Best Actor Award at the National Film Awards. Question 144 what is the name of Google's most advanced AI model launched by its parent company, Alphabet? A. Orion B. Gemini C. Inebula D. AlphaCode The correct answer is B. Gemini Alphabet, Google's parent company, unveiled Gemini, its latest and most advanced AI model, on 6 December aiming to outpace competitors in the field of artificial intelligence. Question 145 Which city ranked highest in the Quality of Living Index 2023 by Mercer? A. Vienna B. Zurich C. Munich D. Vancouver The correct answer is A. Vienna According to Mercer, Vienna Austria topped the 2023 Quality of Living Index for the 10th year in a row. Zurich, Switzerland and Auckland, New Zealand ranked second and third, respectively. Question 146. Which Indian state UT has recently banned the Konokapas plant? A. Gujarat B. Goa C. Kerala D. Uttarakhand The correct answer is A. Gujarat Gujarat has recently banned the Konokapas plant because of its environmental and health hazards. This fast-growing exotic mangrove species, locally called as Sapparni, has become a popular choice for increasing green cover in the state over the past few years. Question 147 What is the name of the initiative launched by PM Modi to empower women in rural areas with agricultural drones, a Namo Agricultural Programme? B. Drone Empowerment Project C. Women in Agriculture Scheme D. Namo Drone Didi The correct answer is D. Namo Drone Didi PM Modis Namo Drone Didi, unveiled on 30th November, empowers 15,000 women self-help groups, SHGs, with agricultural drones, placing rural women at the forefront of the agri-revolution. Question 148 in which Indian city were the 115 million year old early Cretaceous shark fossils discovered? A. Varanasi, Uttar Pradesh. B. Jaipur, Rajasthan. C. Jaislamar, Rajasthan. D. Bhopal, Madhya Pradesh. The correct answer is C. Jaislamar, Rajasthan. The groundbreaking discovery of India's first early Cretaceous shark fossils dating back around 115 million years, took place in the Heber formation of the Jaisalmer Basin, Rajasthan. Question 149 
What weapon system does the Indian Defence Ministry's recent approval of 2,800 crore rupees aim to enhance the Indian Army's artillery capabilities? A. Brahmos Missile System B. Agni Ballistic Missile System C. Akash Surface-to-Air Missile System D. Pinaka Weapon System The correct answer is D. Pinaka Weapon System the Defence Ministry's approval of 2,800 crore rupees is directed towards enhancing the Indian Army's artillery capabilities through the acquisition of rockets for the Pinaka multi-barrel rocket launcher systems. Question 150 Google Doodle recently celebrated which elephant known for its big tusks? A. Ahmed, the elephant B. Kavi, the elephant C. Raju, the elephant D. Simba, the elephant. The correct answer is A. Ahmed, the elephant. Google Doodle dedicated an illustration to celebrate Ahmed, the elephant, known for his big tusks. Ahmed, born in 1919 in the forests of Mount Masabit, Kenya, gained global recognition for his massive tusks that scraped the ground, earning him the title the King of Masabit. Question 151 who was appointed as the first woman Director General, DG, of the Indian Council of Forestry Research and Education, ICFRE? A. Kanchan Devi B. Meera Sharma C. Riya Singh D. Anjali Patel The correct answer is A. Kanchan Devi Kanchan Devi, a 1991 batch Indian Forest Service Officer from the Madhya Pradesh cadre, has been appointed as the Director General, DG, of ICFRE, making her the first woman to hold this esteemed position. Question 152 Scientists from which country has developed a new technology to filter microplastics from water? A. India B. South Korea C. Australia D. EUA The correct answer is B. South Korea Scientists from South Korea have developed a new water purification system that can efficiently filter out microplastics making her the first woman to hold this esteemed position. Question 153 Which Indian badminton duo won the Korea Open 2023 title? A. Dhruv Kapila and Mr. Arjun B. Satvik Shiraj and Ashwini Ponapa C. Satvik Shiraj and Chirag D. Saina Nehwal and P. V. Sindhu The correct answer is C. Satvik Shiraj and Chirag Asian champions Satvik Shiraj Rankiredi and Chirag Shetty defeated world number no. 1 Indonesian duo Fazar Alfian and Muhammad Rian Adianto in a three-game mains doubles final to clinch the Korea Open 2023 title in Yeosu, Korea. Question 154 Which scales element has been discovered in the Sutlej River? A. Titanium B. Tantalum C. Scandium D. Lithium The correct answer is B. Tantalum Tantalum was discovered recently in Sutlej. Tantalum is a scarce metallic element characterized by its atomic number 73, denoting the count of protons within a single atom of the element. Question 155 which Asian country has officially recognized esports as part of multi sports events? A. Sri Lanka. B. India. C. Bangladesh. D. China. The correct answer is B. India. The President of India, Draupdi Murmu, in exercise of the powers conferred by Clause 3 of Article 77 of the Constitution, amended the rules governing esports. Question 156. Saudi Arabia recently signed a bilateral currency swap agreement with which country? A. India B. UAE C. China D. USA The correct answer is C. China The People's Bank of China and the Central Bank of Saudi Arabia recently inked a local currency swap deal. The agreement, valid for three years and subject to extension by mutual consent, involves a sum of 50 billion yuan, 6.93 billion dollars, or 26 billion Saudi reals. Question 157. Which variety of saffron is considered to be the most expensive? A. Tiger B. Shan A. Kashmir 
C. Kumkum. D. Hibi. The correct answer is C. Kumkum. The famous most expensive variety of saffron is known as Kumkum. It is the main cash crop of Kishtwar district. Question 158. In which country will the ICC Men's U19 Cricket World Cup 2024 be organized? A. India. B. South Africa. C. Sri Lanka. D. Australia. The correct answer is B. South Africa. The ICC Men's U19 Cricket World Cup 2024 will now be organized in South Africa instead of Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka cricket was recently suspended by the ICC after which this decision was taken. Question 159. Which Indian state recently imposed an immediate ban on the production, storage, distribution, and sale of halal certified products? A. Maharashtra. B. Uttar Pradesh. C. Karnataka. D. Tamil Nadu. The correct answer is B. Uttar Pradesh. The Uttar Pradesh government has implemented a ban on halal certified products within the state, citing concerns about the misuse of certification for items like oil, sugar, toothpaste, and spices, beyond its traditional application to meat products. Question 160. Which country has handed over the chairmanship of Vasana Arrangement to India in 2023? A. France. B. Germany. C. Ireland. D. USA. The correct answer is C. Ireland. India assumed the chairmanship of the plenary of the Vasana arrangement for 2023. Question 161. Who has become the first Indian to win the International Emmy Award? A. Arman Malik. B. R. Madhavan. C. Vicky Kaushal. D. Veer Das. The correct answer is D. Veer Das. Actor comic Veer Das has won the International Emmy Award in the Best Comedy category for his Netflix stand-up special, Veer Das, Landing. He has become the first Indian artist to win this award. Question 162. Who has recently become the new Prime Minister of the European country Luxembourg? A. Luke Frieden. B. Xavier Bettel. C. Ken Maas. D. Giles Roth. The correct answer is, A. Luke Frieden. Former Finance Minister Luke Frieden has been elected as the new Prime Minister of the European country Luxembourg. Giles Roth has been appointed the new Finance Minister of the country. Question 163. The Dhillu Festival, which was seen in the news, is celebrated in which state, UT? A. Orissa. B. Goa. C. Telangana. D. Chennai. The correct answer is, B. Goa. Dillu is an eco-feminist festival celebrated in the western ghats of Goa. The festival's fervor is also felt in the forested villages of Joida in Karnataka. Question 164. Who recently made history by becoming the first woman to receive the Dahan Prize for Punjabi Literature? A. Kiran Desai. B. Amrita Pritam. C. Jaspreet Singh. D. Deepti Babuta. The correct answer is D. Deepti Babuta. Deepti Babuta achieved a historic milestone by becoming the first woman to win the Dahan Prize for Punjabi Literature, recognized for her compelling short story collection, Bukhi on Sahlendi Hai, Hunger Breeds Like This, receiving a cash award of 25,000 Canadian dollars and a trophy. Question 165. Who has been appointed as the Managing Director of the State Bank of India, SBI, until November 30, 2025, filling the vacancy left by Swaminathan Janakiraman? A. Rajneesh Kumar. B. Arundhati Bhattacharya. C. Vinay Tones. D. Shikha Sharma. The correct answer is C. Vinay Tones. Vinay M. Tones has been appointed as the Managing Director of the State Bank of India, SBI, until November 30, 2025, filling the vacancy left by Swaminathan Janakiraman, who was appointed as Deputy Governor of the Reserve Bank. Question 166. Which Indian city has been featured in Corn Nast Traveler's list of the best places to visit in Asia in 2024? A. Mumbai. B. Delhi. C. Chennai. D. Kochi. The correct answer is D. Kochi. Kochi, a vibrant city in Kerala, has earned a prestigious spot on Corn Nast Traveler's list of the best places to visit in Asia in 2024, highlighting its resurgence in tourism and commitment to sustainable practices. Question 167. 
Which region is associated with the tropical cyclone Alvaro that has recently been in the news? A. Southeast Asia B. Madagascar C. South America D. Australia The correct answer is B. Madagascar Tropical cyclone Alvaro made a significant impact on southwest Madagascar, hitting the region on January 1, 2024. Question 168. In the MSCIM index, what is India's current rank after surpassing Taiwan? A. First rank. B. Third rank. C. Second rank. D. Fourth rank. The correct answer is C. Second rank. India now holds the second rank in the MSCIM index, surpassing Taiwan. Question 169. Which is the primary source of the new jet fuel recently developed by Firefly Green Fuels? A. Cooking oil. B. Human sewage. C. Rapeseed oil. D. Agricultural remnants. The correct answer is B. Human sewage. The innovative jet fuel, recently developed by Firefly Green Fuels, is derived primarily from human sewage. Question 170. What is the name of the indigenous assault rifle launched by DRDO for the armed forces? A. Ugram. B. Rakshak. C. Nirbhai. D. Shakti. The correct answer is A. Ugram. DRDO introduced Ugram, an indigenous assault rifle with a 7, 62 by 51 mm caliber, meeting robust standards for military grade rifles. Question 171. Which country has recently passed a significant legislative bill banning the consumption and sale of dog meat? A. Japan. B. North Korea. C. South Korea. D. Thailand. The correct answer is C. South Korea. The South Korean parliament recently passed a significant legislative bill banning the consumption and sale of dog meat. Question 172. Who, at 34 years old, recently became France's youngest ever Prime Minister and the first openly gay official in this position? A. Jean Castex B. Edouard Philippe C. François Hollande D. Gabriel Attal The correct answer is D. Gabriel Attal Gabriel Attal, at 34 years old, became the youngest ever Prime Minister of France, appointed by President Emmanuel Macron. Question 173 who has recently been appointed as Additional Secretary and Director General, Acquisition, in the Defense Ministry? A. Rajiv Goba. B. Amitabh Kant. C. Samir Kumar Sinha. D. Arvind Subramanian. The correct answer is, C. Samir Kumar Sinha. Samir Kumar Sinha has assumed the role of Additional Secretary and Director General, Acquisition, in the Defense Ministry as part of a recent bureaucratic reshuffle. Question 174. In which Indian city was, Prasadam, the country's first hygienic food street, inaugurated by Union Health Minister Dr. Mansukh Mandavia? A. Indore. B. Ujjain. C. Bhopal. D. Gwalior. The correct answer is, B. Ujjain. Prasadam, India's first hygienic food street, was inaugurated in Ujjain, Madhya Pradesh, by Union Health Minister Dr. Mansukh Mandavia. Question 175. In 2024, which country will chair the UNESCO World Heritage Committee and host its 46th session? A. China. B. India. C. France. D. Brazil. The correct answer is B. India. India will chair the UNESCO World Heritage Committee and host its 46th session in New Delhi from July 21 to 31, 2024. Question 176. In which Indian state was the Malkangiri Airport recently inaugurated, marking a significant boost in connectivity? A. Orissa. B. Bihar. C. West Bengal. D. Jharkhand. The correct answer is A. Orissa. Chief Minister Naveen Patnayak inaugurated Malkangiri Airport in Orissa, signaling a significant improvement in connectivity. Question 177. Which media company has signed a four-year media rights deal with the International Hockey Federation, FIH, covering the period 2023-2027? to A. Sony Pictures Networks B. Star India C. ESPN D. Wirecom 18 The correct answer is D. Wirecom 18 
Viacom 18 has entered into a four-year media rights deal with the International Hockey Federation, FIH, for the period 2023-2027, covering all FIH events except the FIH Nations Cup. Question 178. Who has been appointed as the Chief Executive Officer, CEO, of Phoenix International Payments Business? A. Ritesh Pai B. Vikram Sharma C. Rahul Chari D. Bhavish Agrawal The correct answer is, explanation, A. Ritesh Pai Ritesh Pai has been appointed as the Chief Executive Officer, CEO, of Phoenix International Payments Business. Question 179 who has recently assumed the role of Secretary of the Railway Board as of January 9, 2024? A. Aruna Nayar B. Sunil Kumar C. RVPS Murthy D. P. Madhusudhan The correct answer is A. Aruna Nayar Aruna Nayar, a 1987 IRPS officer, has recently taken over as the Secretary of the Railway Board, making history as the first IRPS officer impaneled in the Indian Railway Management Service, IRMS, at level 16. Question 180. Who has officially assumed the role of Secretary General of BIMSTEK, succeeding Tenzin Lekfail? A. M. Shahidul Islam B. Indra Mani Pandey C. Sumit Nakandala D. Kavita Krishnamurti The correct answer is B. Indra Mani Pandey Ambassador Indra Mani Pandey a seasoned Indian diplomat, has taken on the role of Secretary General of BIMSTEK, succeeding Tenzin Lekfail from Bhutan. Question 181. On which date is Pravasi Bharatiya Divas, also known as Non-Resident Indian, NRI, Day, set to be celebrated in 2024? A. January 9th. B. February 15th. C. January 5th. D. April 12th. The correct answer is, A. January 9th. Pravasi Bharatiya Divas 2024, celebrated on January 9th, pays tribute to the contributions of the Overseas Indian Community, NRI, and marks Mahatma Gandhi's return from South Africa in 1915, symbolizing leadership in India's freedom struggle. Question 182. Which country chartered the M. V. Vassala Golovnan for the 43rd scientific expedition to Antarctica? A. Brazil. B. Russia. C. India. D. South Africa. The correct answer is, C. India. India chartered the M. V. Vassala Golovnan for the 43rd scientific expedition to Antarctica. The expedition includes 21 members from India, one from Bangladesh, and two from Mauritius. Question 183. Who won the Bangladesh 2024 elections and secured a historic fifth term as the Prime Minister? A. Khalid Azir. B. Abdul Hamid. C. Mehmudur Rahman D. Sheikh Hasina The correct answer is D. Sheikh Hasina In a momentous turn of events, Sheikh Hasina emerged victorious in the 2024 elections, securing a historic fifth term as the Prime Minister of Bangladesh. Question 184 Who also known as Polar Preet, claimed the fastest solo ski across Antarctica? A. Hapreet Chandi B. Premlata Agrawal C. Arunima Sinha D. Olga Koroleva The correct answer is A. Harpreet Chandi British Sikh Army Medic Harpreet Chandi, a.k.a. Polar Preet, achieved the fastest solo ski across Antarctica, covering 1,130 km in 31 days, 13 hours, and 19 minutes, pending verification from Guinness World Records. Question 185 How many languages did Sucheta Satish sing in? Setting a world record during a single concert? A. 110 languages. B. 140 languages. C. 100 languages. D. 125 languages. The correct answer is B. 140 languages. Sucheta Satish set a world record by singing in an unprecedented 140 languages during a single concert, held at the Indian Consulate Auditorium in Dubai, UAE. Question 186. Who is the author of the book, Sanskriti Kya Ayam, released by General V.K. Singh? A. Manorama Mishra B. R.K. Narayan C. Ruskan Bond D. Vikram Seth The correct answer is A. Manorama Mishra The book, Sanskriti Kya Ayam, 
was authored by Manorama Mishra and released by General V.K. Singh. Question 187. Under the new traffic law for hit-and-run cases, what is the increased maximum jail term for drivers who flee and fail to report a fatal accident? A. 10 years. B. 5 years. C. 7 years. D. 3 years. The correct answer is A. 10 years. The recent amendment in traffic laws has increased the jail term for drivers involved in hit-and-run cases to a maximum of 10 years. Question 188. Which Indian state is associated with the Langia Sora paintings and the Dongaria Corn Shawl, both of which recently received a geographical indication, G. Tag? A. Maharashtra. B. Uttar Pradesh. C. Orissa. D. Kerala. The correct answer is, C. Orissa. Langia Sora paintings and Dongaria corn shawls from Urissa recently received a geographical indication, G. Tag. Question 189. Which union territory, UT, has become the first to implement the PM Vishwakarma Yojana? A. Ladakh, Daman and Diu. B. Puducherry. C. Lakshadweep. D. Jammu and Kashmir. The correct answer is, D. Jammu and Kashmir. Jammu and Kashmir have taken a significant step by becoming the first union territory to implement the PM Vishwakarma Yojana. Question 190. With which country did the Gulf Cooperation Council, GCC, recently sign its second free trade agreement, FTA, this year? A. Japan. B. Vietnam. C. Philippines. D. South Korea. The correct answer is, D. South Korea. The Gulf Cooperation Council, GCC, recently signed its second free trade agreement, FTA, this year with South Korea. Question 191. Who has been elected Speaker of Chhattisgarh State Assembly? A. Bhupesh Bhagel. B. Raman Singh. C. Shatrughan Simha. D. Manvinder Sa. The correct answer is, B. Raman Singh. Former Chief Minister of Chhattisgarh Raman Singh has been unanimously elected as the Speaker of the State Assembly. Question 192. How many cybercrime police stations has the Uttar Pradesh government approved to open in the state? A. 47. B. 57. C. 67. D. 72. The correct answer is, B. 57. The government of Uttar Pradesh approved the opening of 57 cybercrime police stations in the state. Question 193. Who is the author of The Babri Masjid Ram Mandir Dilemma? An asset test for India's constitution. A. Madhav Godbole. B. Arun Desai. C. Sanjay Patel. D. Ritu Verma. The correct answer is A. Madhav Godbole. The book which explores the complexities of the Babri Masjid Ram Mandir issue, was written by Madhav Godbole. Question 194. In which city did PM Modi inaugurate the world's largest meditation center? A. Patna. B. Varanasi. C. Lucknow. D. Ahmedabad. The correct answer is, B. Varanasi. Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurated and laid the foundation stone of several beneficial projects in his parliamentary constituency Varanasi. In this series, PM Modi also inaugurated the world's largest meditation center Swag Mahamandir. Question 195. With which country did India sign crucial agreements for the construction of power generating units at the Kudankulam nuclear plant? A. United States of America. B. Russia. C. United Kingdom. D. France. The correct answer is, B. Russia. India and Russia signed key agreements, solidifying their partnership and making significant progress in the construction of future power units at the Kudankulam nuclear plant. Question 196. Recently, after the demise of the ruler of which country, the government of India had announced one-day state mourning? A. Qatar. B. Egypt. C. Bahrain. D. Kuwait. The correct answer is, D. Kuwait. After the demise of Kuwait's Emir Sheikh Nawaf al Ahmad al Jaber al Sabah, the Indian government had announced one-day state mourning on Sunday, December 17. Question 197. India's first gymnast perm garden has been established in which state? A. Sikkim. B. Himachal Pradesh. C. Uttarakhand. D. West Bengal. 
The correct answer is C. Uttarakhand. The research wing of the Uttarakhand Forest Department has established India's first gymnosperm garden, hosting diverse endangered conifer species. Question 198. In which state is the LIC, Life Insurance Corporation, opening a new branch office for global expansion? A. Goa. B. Karnataka. C. Gujarat. C. Rajasthan. The correct answer is C. Gujarat. Gujarat International Finance Tech City, Gift City, is situated in the state of Gujarat, where LIC is strategically opening a new branch office as part of its global expansion and diversification efforts. Question 199. Who has become the eighth bowler in the world to take 500 or more wickets in test cricket? A. Nathan Leo. B. Ravind Jadeja. C. Adam Zampa. D. Ravichandran Ashwin. The correct answer is A. Nathan Leo. Australia's experienced spinner Nathan Leo has become the eighth bowler in the world to take 500 or more wickets in test cricket. Question 200. Who has been appointed by the Israeli government as the new ambassador to India? A. Ron Malka. B. Nog Gillen. C. Ruvan Nazar. D. None of these. The correct answer is C. Ruvan Nazar. The Israeli government recently approved the appointment of Ruva Nazar as the new ambassador to India. Question 201. Who was the president of the 2023 UN Climate Change Conference COP28? A. Amin H. Nasser. P. Mozan Khojas Thamhar. C. Sultan Ahmad Al Jaber. D. Sheikh Nawaf Saad Al Saba. The correct answer is C. Sultan Ahmed Al Jaber. Sultan Ahmed Al Jaber is an Emirati politician who is the Minister of Industry and Advanced Technology of the United Arab Emirates. Question 202. Who is the revered poet honored with the renaming of Ayodhya Airport? A. Maharishi Valmiki. B. Tulsidas. C. Kabir. D. Surdas. The correct answer is A. Maharishi Valmiki. The Ayodhya Airport, said to be inaugurated on December 30, is likely to be renamed Maharishi Valmiki Airport, in honor of the ancient poet who composed the epic Ramayana. Question 203. Who has been recently awarded the prestigious Royal Society of Chemistry's Nihon Prize for Education? A. Savita Ladage, B. Sanjeev Prasad, C. Rajeshwari Sridhar, D. Pushpak Bhattacharya. The correct answer is A. Savita Ladage, Professor Savita Ladage from Mumbai's Homi Bhabha Center for Science Education, Tata Institute of Fundamental Research, has been awarded the prestigious Royal Society of Chemistry's Nihon Prize for Education in recognition of her outstanding contributions to chemistry education. Question 204. Who has been suspended for one year by the National Anti-Doping Agency, NADA, due to three whereabouts failures? A. Sakshi Malik. B. Geeta Fogat. C. Vinesh Fogat. D. Pooja Dhandha. The correct answer is D. Pooja Dhandha. Indian wrestler Pooja Dhandha, a decorated athlete, has been suspended for one year by NADA for three whereabouts failures, marking a setback in her career. Question 205. Which Indian recently successfully climbed Antarctica's highest peak, Mount Vinson? A. Arunima Simha. B. Love Raj Singh Dharamashaktu. C. Sheikh Hassan Khan. D. Anshu Jamsainpa. The correct answer is C. Sheikh Hassan Khan. Kerala government employee Sheikh Hassan Khan has conquered Antarctica's highest peak, Mount Vinson. This is the fifth highest peak conquered by him. Mount Vinson is 4,892 meters, 16,050 feet above sea level. Question 206. Who has been appointed as the new captain by IPL team Mumbai Indians? A. Surya Kumar Yadav. B. Jaspreet Bumrah. C. Ishan Kishan. D. Hardik Pandya. The correct answer is D. Hardik Pandya. Mumbai franchise of IPL has appointed all-rounder Hardik Pandya as its new captain in place of experienced opener Rohit Sharma. Question 207. 
Where did the Guinness World Record for the largest tabla ensemble take place with 1500 tabla performers gathering? A. Jaipur B. Varanasi C. Gwalior D. Lucknow The correct answer is C. Gwalior Gwalior, known as the city of music, achieved a Guinness World Record for the largest tabla ensemble, with 1500 performers gathering at the historic Karna Mahal of Gwalior Fort. Question 208. Bailey Bridge built by Indian Army and Bro in which river in North Sikkim has set a record? A. Tista. B. Betwa. C. Koena. D. Tava. The correct answer is A. Tista. Trishakti Corps of Indian Army in collaboration with Border Roads Organization, Bro, successfully completed construction of Bailey Bridge over Tista River at Chungthang in North Sikkim. Question 209. Who has been appointed as the International Ambassador for the Tata Steel Kolkata 25K event in 2023? A. Usain Bolt. B. David Beckham. C. Florence Griffith Joyner. D. Colin Jackson. The correct answer is D. Colin Jackson. Former 110 meters hurdles world record holder Colin Jackson has been appointed as the international ambassador for the Tata Steel Kolkata 25K event scheduled on Sunday, December 17, 2023. Question 210. According to Cushman and Wakefield's Main Streets Across the World report, which is the rank of Delhi's Khan market in a global ranking of retail rents? A. 15th. B. 18th. C. 22nd. D. 25th. The correct answer is C. 22nd. According to Cushman and Wakefield's Main Streets Across the World report, Delhi's Khan market ranks 22nd globally in retail rentals with an annual rate of $217 per square foot. Question 211. Who has been awarded the National Metallurgical Award? A. Dr. Rameshwar S. Shah. B. Dr. Debashish Bhattacharya. C. Dr. Niloy Kundu. D. Dr. Agilan Muthumanikkam. The correct answer is B. Dr. Debashish Bhattacharya. The National Metallurgical Awards 2022 were presented at an event organized by the Ministry of Steel. In this drive, Debashish Bhattacharya was honored with the National Metallurgist Award. Question 212. Researchers from which country have developed a new tool called Data Carbon Ladder? A. India. B. Brazil. C. UK D. United States. The correct answer is C. UK. Researchers in the United Kingdom have developed a new tool called Data Carbon Ladder which enables companies to assess the carbon emissions generated by their digital data, especially for those looking to offset their carbon footprint. Question 213. Justine Hennen, who appeared in the news, was a famous player who played which sport? A. Football. B. Tennis. C. Basketball. D. Cricket. The correct answer is B. Tennis. The International Tennis Federation has awarded Justine Hennen its highest honor, the Philippe Chouturier Award. Question 214. Which breed of fish is used to combat mosquito-borne diseases? A. Rohu. B. Kambusha. C. Bangda. D. Hilsa. The correct answer is B. Kambusha. Gambusha fish commonly known as mosquito fish are widely recognized for their ability to control mosquito larvae and are used as a natural means of mosquito control. Question 215. Cymbidium lancifolium, a rare species of orchid, was found in which state apart from northeast states, he? A. Chhattisgarh, B. Himachal Pradesh, C. Uttarakhand, D. West Bengal. The correct answer is C. Uttarakhand. A highly unusual terrestrial orchid species known as Cymbidium lancifolium was found in Chopta Valley of Chamoli district located in the western Himalayan region of Uttarakhand. Question 216. Kilovea volcano seen in news is located in which country? A. 
Indonesia B Philippines C Hawaii USA D Japan The correct answer is C Hawaii USA Kilauea volcano located in the state of Hawaii United States is considered one of the most active volcanoes on the planet Question 217 Javier Mill is the new president of which country A Mexico B Argentina C Denmark D New Zealand The correct answer is B Argentina Javier Milei has recently won the presidential election of Argentina Controversial economist Javier Milei a far right libertarian outsider in Argentine politics is set to become the country's next president Thanks for watching this video Please like share and subscribe to this YouTube channel to get latest videos on current affairs and other topic for various upcoming exams